In this video, I'll be discussing tech cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, why you want to have techs in your deck going into a competitive event, and how to find them to optimize your tournament experience. Hopefully you guys are excited, and with that, Let's get right into this. So what are tech cards and why are they important for you? Well, tech cards are cards that, when initially used, are unknown to the public and are used to either solve problems or amplify a deck's consistency or power. This is what I would like to call a quote unquote your deck tech essentially referring to a tech that is revolved around improving your deck in some way. The other type of tech you can have is what I call a quote unquote format tech, aka a card that doesn't necessarily solve a problem in your deck, but identifies a weak point in the other decks, aka the rest of the format and capitalizes on that. Both of these types of tech cards in general give you a massive advantage going into a big tournament because it is unknown to the public at that time. Because of this lack of knowledge, it gives you an overall bigger advantage when it comes to your deck specifically. After you use a tech card and it becomes discovered, it is no longer considered a tech card. Because the public would now know about it, and it would either become a staple or fade into obscurity. So obviously it's important to have skill in the game. You need to be a skillful player in order to consistently do well and see plays that maybe other people won't, be able to manage your resources better, stuff like that, right? Well, here comes the issue. While all of that is relevant, and you can make the argument that skill is more important than these tech cards, the reason why tech cards are so important is because while skill is definitely a huge factor to do well competitively, if you were to play someone with a similar skill level at a tournament, let's say later in the rounds, skill becomes less of a factor and your deck building becomes more important. You can't control playing against another good player similar to your skill level, but you can 100% control what cards you play in your deck. In order to give yourself an advantage over your opponent, tech cards are a big deal and that's one of the major appeals of having a tech card, just having that big advantage regardless of skill. Luck is a factor as well, but it isn't a guaranteed method of increasing your chances to do well, so you shouldn't rely on luck specifically, however there are methods of improving your ability to get lucky, which I will describe in later episodes of this series. So starting off, let me discuss the first type of a tech card, a quote unquote your deck tech card. So what do I mean by a your deck tech card? Well, a your deck tech card is basically a tech that revolves around solving a problem in your strategy or improving the consistency and slash or power of your deck. Just like I stated earlier, this is basically what a your deck tech card is, focused around improving your deck. Now, let me give you guys an example of what a your deck tech card is, and there's obviously countless examples, but one of the most recent ones and probably most notable tech cards is Utopia Double. So what is Utopia Double? Well, first we need to understand why this is a tech card and what deck actually played it. So the deck that played it was Sky Striker. Sky Striker is a control based strategy that can easily out resource the opponent. The reason you would want to play this deck over any other strategy is because it can gain so many resources and disrupt your opponent easily with in theme cards like Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor, a quick play spell that negates an opponent's monster effect and can take the monster if you have three spells in the grave. You also have incredible searchers like Sky Striker Mobilize Engage, which gets you a draw along with your search if you have three spells in your grave. So cards like these really help you out resource your opponent. And obviously having a card to take your opponent's monsters is really prominent and a very powerful effect, especially when it's in theme and so easily accessible. So what would be the problem with this deck? Well, one of the problems is that while being able to out resource the opponent, it cannot inflict mass amounts of damage to the opponent. All of your Sky Striker monsters have an original attack of 1500 attack. So the problem becomes how do we solve that problem? How do we OTK the opponent effectively? And so this is where Utopia Double comes in. At the NAWCQ 2019, Jesse Cotton piloted a Sky Striker deck using Utopia Double. So why did he use Utopia Double? Well, if it isn't self-explanatory already, Utopia Double solves the problem of not being able to OTK. So how does it do this? Well, Utopia Double's effect adds a copy of Double or Nothing from your deck to your hand 
When doing so, it will overlay itself into a Utopia Xyz monster. So you summon the original number 39 Utopia. If your opponent controls a monster with 2000 or less attack, you can attack with the Utopia into that 2000 or less attack monster, and then you use Utopia's effect to detach a material from it to negate its own attack, and have the ability to activate double or nothing doubling its attack and enabling it to attack again. The reason this is so good is because Utopia Double doubles the attack of the number 39 Utopia. So by doubling its attack a second time and having a base attack of 2500, Utopia will have 10,000 attack. Now just to note, Utopia cannot attack directly, that's why you specifically have to attack into a monster with 2000 or less attack. But once you do so, you are inflicting over 8000 points of damage at that point. If you have a Hayate on the field, you can also inflict an additional 1500, so regardless, you can attack into a monster with 500 or less attack in that scenario, but that is how Utopia Double solves the problem of not being able to OTK. And how do we efficiently access Utopia Double? Well, because Utopia Double is a generic rank 4, you can overlay two Sky Striker Ace Rays, because they're both level 4s, into a Utopia Double to enable the easy OTK. Jesse Cotton found the tech with Ryan Yu and qualified for the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2019 because of this innovative tech. But what is the other way to figure out a good tech card? A format tech card is essentially when you find a card that is really good either against a specific strategy or all around, and it's really good in only that specific format. So let me give you guys an example so you understand what the format tech card is. So for this example, I'm going to give an example of when Jacob stunned the world when he topped an event with Salomon Great featuring enemy controller at the 2019 UDS Las Vegas. Salomon Great is a deck revolved around Salomon Great Gazelle and achieving massive advantage through only one highly accessible card. Gazelle also has a special summon clause, so when a Salomon Great monster is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon Gazelle from the hand, so your core engine piece is also an inherent special summon. So this is a core reason why enemy controller was so good because enemy controller removes your Salomon Great monster off the field in order to trigger your gazelle while being able to steal an opponent's monster. However, another part about the deck that was underutilized was that with just gazelle, you wouldn't really do anything substantial with your monsters. You would just gain a bunch of card advantage. But if that card advantage didn't really do anything substantial, it would just kind of sit there and do nothing. And considering the rest of the decks, Jacob found that enemy controller would be a very good tech card for that event. Being able to steal an opponent's monster was huge for that event, and there are a few reasons why. One, Salomon Great was very prone to enemy controller for that event because they didn't really have an ability to play through cards like enemy controller on their normal summon or special summon a Mirage Stallio because they couldn't actually put any Salomon Great monsters in the grave in order to trigger Gazelle in order to keep playing through the board. You have a deck like Sky Striker. Now, because enemy controller says till the end phase, it was amazing going first because going first, you could take their Sky Striker link monster and then during their end phase, it would go back to their field in the main monster zone. And the reason why this was so good, well, that means it turns off their Sky Striker spells. For any combo deck, you could seal their resources in order to just put you in a much better position. It was a very efficient card when it came to dealing with your opponent's resources. Because these were the three most represented decks for that event, it was definitely a smart decision to go with enemy controller just because it was so good. Going second was not a problem with enemy controller either. While going first, you would tribute your monsters that you just have laying there in order to steal your opponent's monsters. Going second, you would be able to tribute your Salomon Great monster in order to special summon Gazelle from your hand and that way you're able to play through any targeting effect on your Salomon Great monster, essentially being able to play through boards much easier. So enemy controller was not only good going first, but it was also good going second for both of the reasons I've described. And with that, that's an example of a format tech card. Now, how do you actually find the tech cards? Well, that can come with research and just generally knowing the Yu-Gi-Oh card pool over time. I would suggest researching Yu-Gi-Oh cards on the Yu-Gi-Oh database with specific specific card text that states what you're looking for and just browsing through them in order to find the right tech card for you. But with that guys, 
That's how to find a tech card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. While you're shopping on TCG Player, make sure to go down into the description and use my affiliate link. It takes no extra effort out of you and it helps me immensely. So if you want to support me like that, make sure to go down into the description and check out that link. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for more videos like this one. And with that guys, I hope to see you soon.